Hello, I said I'd like to follow up with another video, but in the meantime I've been um, reconfiguring and um, looking at different uh, ways of uh, setting up this uh, pulse motor generator. Um, what I have done is I've taken the uh, back EMF uh, off the collapsing field of the magnetic coil and fed it back into the source battery. Um, and I've been rather surprised by the results, so this is why I'm making this video. Um, this is the current being consumed. Uh, I said I'd bring you a digital RS video. This is the current being consumed by the drive, the drive stage. And this is the voltage on the battery of the drive stage. Now, this is 21 milliamps of current being consumed um, at 12.849 volts, and that's a, a full bench meter. Over here on the oscilloscope, we have the pulse. And what I've done is, um, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. I've actually produced a five millisecond uh, drive pulse, followed by a multi-phase trigger pulse um, to generate a DC pulse of five uh, quick succession pulses um, to help push the uh, magnet away from the coils. But as you know, with um, coil reactants and resistors, um, the higher the frequency, um, the higher the reactants, the less current you draw. At the same time, you're getting a high back EMF coming back off those trigger pulses, which are also able to push the magnets on around the coil. And just for added measure, I'm drawing a few milliamps off the, dry, off the generating stage for the LED. But at this point, after running this for a couple of hours so far, the battery voltage is not completing it. Anything is slightly increasing. If you have a look at the uh, voltage up here on the fluke meter, you can see that the voltage is slightly incrementing in the upwardly direction, while the current remains consistent at 21, 22 milliamps. Now, if you do your Ohm's law, a uh, simple Ohm's law dictates that 12 volts um, over 21 milliamps gives us uh, 583 ohms. That gives us a theoretical resist coil resistance um, or reactance of 583 ohms, and this coil is actually, in effect, really 0.5 ohm. Uh, and I know there's a time factor involved, and uh, this is a true R in this meter. Um, this is a very interesting phenomenon because the battery voltage is not, paid. even though this is running from the battery, the battery voltage is not. Paid. Uh, I, I think this is a really interesting experiment. I don't see it um, saving, solving the energy crisis of the world, but still, uh, if they are talking about, if they talk about things in some of the documents I've read of cold current reversal um, and um, things like that, uh, the arms law that I know and the maths that I've done doesn't really actually compute. If you actually drop a 583 ohm resistor across the terminal poles of that battery, it would deplete rapidly um, and you can be seen on the meter to, you can watch the uh, digital clock clock down and the battery would deplete at this point uh, and throughout this stage of this video you can see the um, battery voltage stays constant at 4.849 or 848 um, actually it's actually gone up a, uh, a few millivolts in the last 15-20 um, minutes before we started the video it actually started at uh, 4.44 about an hour ago. It's not much of an increase, but um, stable, stable, and um, well, at this point, it'll probably run for quite some time. I don't know how long, but yeah. Anyway, that's that's the information today.